It's amazing to see more people analyzing and actually educating themselves further in the NFT space before flowing into something that will just go to zero the next day. And today I'm going to show you a free website that you can use to go into more depth to find the best data that you possibly can on some of the NFT projects that you're wanting to get into. So let's get started. Welcome in everyone, my name is Andy and I appreciate you taking some time to come and watch this video on the channel. Just before we get started, this isn't financial advice. You should all do your own research and take it as you will. I am not a financial advisor. It's really important to look at data rather than just using emotion and some of your own logic because you get to see the numbers right there and then and the numbers don't lie. So they tell you everything you really need to know. Now there is one website that does cost a lot of money called Nansen and I think it's around $150 a month just to use but it has incredible analytics for NFT projects. I believe it goes in a wider scope with that as well and not just NFT spaces but that is truly an incredible site to use. However right now I'm just not willing to pay $150 as I don't feel I've made enough yet to justify that doing it. Now granted in the future I really do believe that will be something I will be happily willing to pay for because the amount of data and information you get allows you to spot some of the things that you could see potentially in the future as they start to run up. But for now, I'm going to stick to the free one. And the one I use is June Analytics. Now, this is just another way to sort of back up your decision making, to back up what you've been thinking or to go and look at a project and see how it's really been flown. Is there more holders coming in? What type of holders are there? How many is there? You know, there's a lot of different varying factors that you can actually use and see within these projects to justify, is this decision good? Is this going to be a short term flip? Is this going to be a long term hold? Is this a company that I can believe in? And is the community something that I really see that are backing this project and want to see it grow? Now, of course, for things like Discord and Twitter and all that sort of stuff, you can see that you can see that quite clearly. When it comes to the numbers and the data, maybe some of them are a little bit off and you're just seeing people who are talking about how it's going to do so well. But when it brings it back to the numbers, that can tell a different story. And this is where June Analytics comes in. So here is June Analytics and what it is. It's a free crypto analytics by and for the community. And you're able to search for thousands of dashboards with different projects for anyone that you're wanting to get into. So there's a ton here, but the one I'm going to be just looking at today is uh, Crypto Dads. That's one I've been invested in for a little while and one I truly believe in for the long run. So you can see that this was created 12 days ago and we can go into all of the analytics. Now, a lot of them are different. A lot of them offer different and varying factors. And I'll show you that after this. But this can give you a really, really good insight as to what the project's doing, how it's fluctuating, the holders and all that sort of stuff. I mean, just look at this information that you're getting for completely free. Look at all of that. You're able to see the total volume. You're able to see total sales. You're able to see the floor price. You're able to see the wallet distribution, the Crypto Dad's new holder growth trends. There's just so much that you can take from all of this. And it really, really is a great way of seeing if your investment is going to be worth it. Now, there's a few things that you can obviously look at in terms of what's best, what's the easiest to understand. I mean, you can see that the average sale is still sitting at 0.6, but the floor price right now is sitting at about 0.10. So there's a lot of different things that you can take from this and a lot of things that you can actually use to your advantage. Now, I would suggest looking at things like the daily floor price. You're going to be able to see how it's fluctuating. And obviously, Crypto Dads hasn't been out for that long, so you can't really justify a good stable floor price that it's been holding. But it has went up as high as 2.5, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. At some point, I think it was up at 2. Point, yeah, it was up at 2.5 on the 18th of this month. So it was only a couple of days ago that it was up there. And yes, it's back down to one, but that is obviously because everything is dropping right now in the crypto space and people are probably just really scared of the <laughs> movements in the market. I still never will understand that, why people panic so much. Maybe they just go in with all of their money and they can't justify keeping it all in there or they get too anxious. But honestly, the people who win are the ones that just hold, especially if it's a company that you believe in for the long run. If you hold for long enough, you're going to be successful no matter what. And if that company does what it continues to do right and why you got invested in the first place, then there's no reason why you can't make even a little bit of profit in the long run if you just decide to hold. You can see when it first started to come into fruition, it was getting around 1,100. It came up with 1,500 new holders. And now it's, it's slowly going down. It went from about 370 on the 16th of September to only 61 new holders. Now, maybe that, that brings up a red flag. Maybe you're thinking, oh, there's a lot less new holders coming into the trend. But what you've got to remember is that Crypto Dads itself has 6,870 holders itself. 
which is massive. That means 68% of the whole distribution of crypto dads is owned by individual wallets, meaning that the floor prices are going to be very hard to manipulate by whales through that. The highest whale has 42 crypto dads owned. And after that, it's 34, it goes down to 28 for two people, and then it goes down to 20. So these people really can't change the floor that much because if they're putting it at the floor, I'm guaranteeing you they'll be swooped up as quickly as they possibly can. And this is why it's so interesting to really look at these analytics and study them. The wallet distribution as well. How many people just own one? More than 50% of people own one of the crypto dads and then it goes down to 954. That's a massive, massive drop off when it comes to the actual number of wallets who hold more than one. And again, we can see how this price is going to react in that sense and how the holders are genuinely thinking about this project. A lot of people, a lot of unique people have been getting into this project and a lot of people are believing in this business. And it's no wonder because Crypto Dads have been coming out with amazing, amazing announcements consistently showing that they are here for the long run. They're here to be a blue chip status in the NFT world. And I truly believe in that. One of the other really interesting aspects of this one that I really liked was the comparison crossovers between who held what things in different areas. So for World of Women, there's 190 wallets. For Board Ape Yacht Club, there's 132. And for V Friends, there's 114. So it shows quite notable NFT projects. There is other people getting into that with their wallets that include those types of things, which is always a really good thing to see as well. Showing that people who are in investing in this type of project and that has been incredibly successful. World of the Women is doing great. V Friends and Board Eight Yacht Club are just on another level right now that they're actually getting into this project too. This isn't the only project that it'll do and we'll go on to one that's been out for a longer and we'll go Board Eight Yacht Club because we'll be able to see more with the Board Eight Yacht Club as they've been out for a lot longer than that. We can see this one was created five months ago. Now I'm not too sure how good this one is, but I guess we just find out. Now this one again has a lot of information, but it's different this time. They're going in a different route and you're going to be able to see new types of information that actually offers. You're going to see the eight volume per day and how it can relate to the ethereum price you can see the daily volume that it's got and you can see this massive spike on the 28th of august and there's a ton of other things you can see the eight hourly volume you can see the unique wallets that have ever held an ape so the daily change is slowly slowly increasing as we've been going through all of this sort of stuff we can also see the distribution that we saw earlier on with the crypto dads of course with the board ape yacht club i believe there's less actually given out. I think there's 7,800 or something like that. So there's going to be less people who hold when the Crypto Dads have 10,000. And then we have all the other things with the top sales, the trading apes, the current ape ownership with someone owning 106 apes, which is incredibly insane the amount of money they must have through that. You can see a variety of so much amazing information that you can get. And we even go on another one. We'll go on one that was made 29 days ago and we're going to see the floor price here. We're going to see the open sea price floor. And here we're going to see the different floors and how it's changed drastically over time. You know, it went down to 24.8 at one point and now it's back up to 37. It's crazy to see what we can see. The sales per day have been fluctuating. It seems to be quite low at the moment. So if this pattern continues where it spikes up, it drops down for a little bit, spikes up, drops down, spikes up, then I'm suspecting another spike up pretty soon. And a lot of notable people in this space have been saying that another NFT spike is going to be coming in the short few weeks. And it will be interesting to see if that actually comes about because all of this information can help you decide on whether or not a project is actually worth getting in. And something I've been using heavily over the last few weeks, especially when I have been learning. Recently, I made a video that was just released. I believe it was the last video I made or maybe two videos ago about what I do before I get into an NFT project. And in the description, I talked about how this was something I'd found after I made that video. Now I've been using it for any project that I want to get in because it truly gives you an insight to what it's looking like. Now, if you have seen videos on Nansen, I would go recommend actually looking at those and seeing why it differentiates from this in a little light. It's a little bit more structured the way that it's laid out. And for $150, I mean, you'd think it would actually be this, but for those who are just not up for paying that at the moment or are waiting a little bit until they can afford it, or they're just wanting to use something for free, then this is probably the best that you're going to get in regards to actually analyzing the data and seeing the numbers right in front of you. If you have any questions related to June itself, and if I can help in any way, I'd love to be able to do just that. I am hopefully going to be investing in Nansen in the near future as I continue to grow my portfolio and as I see those gains, because I truly believe that having that sort of data can give you more potential to earn way, way more than 150 a month, which is something that I've already been doing. But I just want to make sure that I'm truly diving in in the right sense first. I know the video on the screen right now will be something that you will love to watch. Have a fantastic day.